I used to listen to this when I was in grade school, many, many years ago. So I got involved right out of high school, actually. So I had come up to visit a couple times while I was in high school, and that's how I knew this is where I wanted to be. I heard that they were looking for a host or a co-host for the morning show here. I had been a listener of XLV for a long time, and I thought, wow, that would be super fun. So I came up and I, I did an open call audition and I've been here ever since. The benefit of our station is that we also have a recording studio in the back and we use that to our advantage to have live performances on the air as well as offer services for recording from bands to promos to anything at all. It was just about a year ago that the radio station changed to a freeform style and uh, yeah it means that we can play each individual show has has the ability to choose the kind of music that we want to play. For about three years we had a solid Americana format and when we switched we got a lot of positive reviews on it. Um, we started doing eclectic college radio, all sorts of diverse styles of music, freeform as we call it, which allows us to play anything and everything. The new format is great. It's actually, we, we let all of our DJs uh, decide what music they want to play. We try and position the times a little bit to kind of make it a little more consistent say you're a really big jazz fan, you will know that at 9 o'clock on Tuesdays you can tune in and listen to three hours of jazz and uh, get a lot of insight from a very knowledgeable DJ about jazz. Or if you just want to listen to nonsense, you can tune in to me. And I think it makes for a really great listening experience because you're not listening to the same music all the time and you're exposing people who maybe would never have dreamed that you liked Latin samba music. You know, I didn't know that I even liked that until I got to listen to a show that w that's here on uh, XLV. There's a lot of music coming in. I learned so much about different styles of music I would have never listened to, but since we have DJs of all ages, we're able to be exposed to music, everything from old stuff to new stuff and everything in between, and it's a, a great experience for anyone who loves music. The new format, working very well for us. I'm actually a student here at El Tricy for a second time, came, came back as an adult, and we just did a marketing uh, program for the radio station in one of my classes. So we have demographics that listen to us uh, on the internet as well as on the FM, and people are listening to us basically all over the world now, which is great. We're not just broadcasting on the FM to our local community, which is our number one focus. Uh, but we're also now marketing to everybody. I think our director, Harry Snodgrass, has definitely pushed our station to the forefront of new media. He has so many different ways of reaching out to the community and to everyone listening through all of our different formats and ways of uh, playing our music. I think it's really important right now to have the new media have different ways of accessing our music because not everyone has a radio anymore and people listen to satellite radio and they're on the internet more and they need you know different ways to access I think technology has made some huge advancements as far as media is concerned and people have to have the opportunity to access it in any way they choose to nowadays. Everybody doesn't just do their show here. Everyone pitches in a little bit extra and you need that little bit extra to have a tight-knit group uh, of people that are going to get together, have fun, work together. Again, everybody here is a volunteer. So without everyone giving their time, it, it just wouldn't happen. They've just provided me with a great opportunity to do something that I didn't even know I wanted to do. And it has just been, it has just been a total blast. Every day, I just have so much fun.